Think of the difference. We wouldn't have had Russia going into Ukraine and killing millions of people. Millions of people have died in that war, much worse than you even hear. But that wouldn't have happened, would have never happened. I talked to Putin about it a lot. It was the apple of his eye. He would have never, ever done it, wouldn't have done it. On top of that, the oil prices went up so high that, that he had, I mean, he was making a lot of money doing it. It would have never happened. You wouldn't have had October 7th with Israel, the attack on Israel. You wouldn't have had inflation. You wouldn't have had the Afghanistan most, most embarrassing moment in the history of our country. And we lost 13 great soldiers. Nobody ever talks about the 40 soldiers that were decimated, so badly hurt. And we gave them $85 billion worth of the best equipment anywhere in the world. How stupid. And they moved out the military first. You're supposed to move out the military last, not first. And for 18 months, I spoke to Abdul. He's still the leader of the Taliban. I spoke to him. He said, Abdul, don't do it. But we didn't have one soldier killed in 18 months in Afghanistan. They were killing them like crazy under, under a man named Barack Hussein Obama. Remember Rush Limbaugh? Remember Rush Limbaugh? Rush Limbaugh would go, Barack Hussein Obama. <laughs> we miss Rush. We need Rush. Oh, we miss Rush. But they were killing him, a lot of soldiers. And I said, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. We didn't have one soldier in 18 months killed until we had that tragedy of a, of a day and a moment, the most embarrassing moment in history. And actually, Russia, I think, went in because they saw how stupid we were with Millie and these guys that didn't know what the hell they were doing. We have great generals, by the way, but not the guys that you see on television. And you have to tell Kamala Harris that we've had enough. We've had enough of you. You're a horrible vice president. You destroyed San Francisco as the DA. You destroyed California as the attorney general. You're not going to destroy the United States of America. Kamala, you're fired. Get out of here. We're not going to let him do it, Troy. We're not going to let her destroy our country. That dummy. Did you see where the teleprompter went off yesterday? She didn't know what the hell. My teleprompter, I don't even use it. That's why I don't actually use it too much. But, you know, when you do this stuff a lot, teleprompters break. She had a bad moment yesterday. It broke, right? And she kept saying the same number over and over. I said, what's wrong with her? And maybe it, maybe it didn't break. I don't know. She said it, bro. But when you do this stuff, as we say professionally, you better be, you better, because I've lost it many times. I had one in Ohio for Bernie Marino, who's doing pretty good up there. He's running for the Senate, just like Eric is doing great here. He's running for the Senate. <laughs> Eric Hovde. Doing good. Good man. He's a good man. Got to vote for him. But when you do it as much, you know, it breaks. I, I had with, I was in Ohio. I think it was the windiest day ever in the history of Ohio. It was like Scotland. And the wind was blowing at a level that I've never seen here in this part of the world. And the teleprompters were like sails. Wah. Wah. And then they blew off the stage. They blew. <laughs> And we had 50,000 people. It was a great day because he took the lead right after that, a big, a big, beautiful lead in the primary. But it was sort of an amazing experience. But you lose them all the time. And you have to be able to have a mind where you can actually speak without a teleprompter. And isn't it nice to have a president that can speak without a teleprompter? Isn't that, isn't that nice? It's sort of nice. But you lose them all the time. But she was in La La Land. She was gone, and then it kicked in. She kept saying the same sentence over and over again, over and over. I said, what the hell is going on? And then the teleprompter saved her. It kicked in, but it didn't kick in soon enough, let me tell you. 